everyone, Jan here from our One Church TO Church Life team, and welcome to our weekly Take Five. So good to be with you. If you've been a part of our weekend gatherings over the summer, you know we've been in a series about how Jesus elevates people and how when our lives intersect with His, change happens for the better. And this past weekend, Pastor Jonathan helped us see how Jesus can even help us change our attitudes towards our enemies can practice forgiveness. And in a culture of retaliation and retribution, wow, the pathway of forgiveness is a pathway that Jesus requires of us. What does love require? And it's really this high standard of love that is the message of the New Testament. We're to be people marked by kindness and generosity and forgiveness and and love. And we are given every day opportunities to flesh out these incredible qualities with the people that God has given us to do life with. And and um, maybe some days you're like me, I get it pretty well, but there are other days when, man, my, my love pail is got a hole in it and love is just leaking out and I need to come to Jesus for a fresh infilling of his love. And I'm so thankful that every time I say, Jesus, fill my cup, he does it over and over again. This high standard of love is the message of the New Testament, and Paul writes a lot about it in his letters to the early Christians. Ephesians 4.32, there's a verse, it's a short verse, but it's got a lot of punch in it, and he writes, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. He's talking about relationships. And when we relationships are working well, They bring the most exquisite of joy. It's a foretaste of heaven where the lion and the lamb will lay down together. Imagine, and when all of us will miraculously live in harmony, getting along well with each other, but you got to pinch yourself because we're not quite in heaven yet. We're still working out this assignment of loving well and doing relationship with these qualities that Paul says, kindness, compassion, and, and let's center in on this one today, forgiveness. That's a tough one. How, how do you be forgiving? Well, have you received God's forgiveness? I think it starts there. You know, so many people walk around with a heavy cloak of guilt, remorse, regret. They just cart it around and they don't fully receive that in Jesus, the death of their sins can be is canceled. They can receive God's abounding forgiveness. His forgiveness is there for you. Have you received it? You can choose to wallow in all that's gone wrong and all that you've done, or you can come limping, as it were, to the throne of grace and become a forgiven person. Because when you're forgiven, you can so much more easily forgive others. And I think that's where it starts. We have to receive it and then we practice it. There are tons of great books, amazing resources, resources, there's a plethora of them on on forgiveness. And uh, in my short time with you, I wanna just give you one little tool that, that I try to practice because I know it helps me to get on the forgiveness track a little easier. And it's when I keep short accounts, when I, I, I cut people some slack, I uh, forgive in advance of them asking um, because the opposite of keeping short accounts is keeping a long running tab of everything someone has done wrong to you and you keep bringing it up and throwing it in their faces and you never let it go. Well, as a child of God, if you keep that running tab, if you allow all that unforgiveness to fester in your heart, it becomes a pretty heavy weight to cart around. And you know, we're running a race. How are you gonna run a race if you've got that heaviness of unforgiveness on your back? Let it go. You're forgiven. Be a forgiving person and forgive in advance. You know, Paula Reinhart, great author, she says this, that forgiveness is not about um, the guilty being punished, Forgiveness happens because the innocent are merciful. That's forgiveness. And that's the high road that that we're called to practice. 
Paul says, don't conform any longer to the standard of this world. And the standard of this world says, I'm going to get you back. You did this, this, and this to me. I'm never going to forget that. And you fling it up in someone's face and it kills relationships. But as a follower of Jesus, as someone whose life has been elevated and changed by the love of Jesus, as someone who's intersected with him, we're forgiven. He's calling us to be forgiving people today. Because when we do, wow, we sure look a whole whole lot more like him. So let me pray for you today as we practice this be kind, be compassionate, and forgiving of others. Lord Jesus, We need your help today. Some of us need to receive your forgiveness. Jesus, help them to know that you are just ready, able to forgive and to cleanse us of all of our mess ups. And I pray, Lord, that you would help us to be forgiving people. You know the situations that are gonna come across our paths today. May we in advance keep short accounts, bring what we cannot fix to you and receive your grace and your help in return to be forgiving people. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye folks, see you soon.